You hear someone make the claim that strips of equal width on a sphere have equal surface areas. Is that correct? Let's look at the sphere generated by rotating y equals the square root of 16 minus x squared around the x-axis. We're going to look at the area of the strip where x is between 0 and 1 and compare it to the area of the strip where x is between negative 3 and negative 2. Now as we just look here, that's not obvious because this one looks like it's quite a bit longer here, but we have to consider that as we're out on this edge, we have more across here. So let's see what we find. We'll set up this integral and first we'll go ahead and go from 0 to 1 and we're going to have 2 pi and we're rotating around the x-axis so that's going to be 2 pi y and then we'll have the square root of 1 plus the derivative of this function so let's find that y prime is going to be 1 half 16 minus x squared to the negative 1 half and then multiplied by the derivative of what's inside which is negative 2x so as we put this piece in, let's see, we can cancel these twos out. And so this is going to be negative x over the square root of 16 minus x squared, and that needs to be squared dx. Didn't get my square root very big there for what I needed underneath. Okay, so we got to do a couple of things. We're going to replace this y and get it in terms of x and then we'll go ahead and square this and see what we have. So we've got integral from 0 to 1 of 2 pi square root of 16 minus x squared and then underneath this square root this is going to be an x squared positive and this will get rid of the square root. Now let's go ahead and get this as a common denominator. So that's going to be 16 minus x squared plus x squared over 16 minus x squared dx. So these will cancel and basically here this is underneath the square root so it would just be like 16 minus x squared we could express it out here so those would cancel so then we have the square root of 16 which is 4 multiplied by our 2 pi so we just have 8 pi for our integral there so that means we'd have 8 pi x evaluated from 0 to 1 and so that's just going to be 8 pi. Now how would this be different if we had negative 3 to negative 2? If we put a negative 3 and a negative 2 on here, we're still going to get 8 pi because the difference between negative 3 and negative 2 is 1. So if we have strips of equal width of 1, we're always going to get 8 pi because basically if we had 8 pi and we put in negative 2 here, then 8 pi and we put in negative 3 here because we have this 8 pi and we have the difference here of 1, we're still going to get 8 pi. And that's going to be true as long as we have the same width. So this claim is true.